Word Vibes Nuggets. For the sermon ministered on Sunday, March 13, 2022, by Pastor Donnett Norman, entitled Mercy and the Truth. God is the Father of mercies. Mercy is God's favor and His compassion that He pours out as He pities those who He sees are in need of His attributes. Saved or unsaved, we all can give thanks for the mercies of God. Mercy for the sons of God is Him giving us the ability to continue in the life of Christ as He allows us to fulfill the purpose for which we were ordained. Each day that God gives us is another day where we experience His mercies, not just to do our own thing, but to continue in the life of Christ. Mercy for the unsaved is the opportunity to receive salvation. As God steps into the life of a surrendered vessel, He completely eradicates the law of sin and death and places the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus. This is one of God's greatest manifestations of mercy. God's mercy comes to us with goodness inside of the spirit of truth to set souls free. When God wanted to show us mercy, he sent truth into our lives and the truth came by a method which he himself preordained. Jesus is building his church to share the undiluted truth of the gospel. He is using the different gifts in the body the apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists, and pastors for the perfecting of the church, the work of the ministry, so that persons can be built up in truth. Ephesians 4 verse 11 God in his mercy has also made us a part of our souls of faith, where our lives can be built up and where we are held accountable. We can find safety knowing that godly men and women are watching over our souls and speaking into our lives, sharing the love of Jesus and rebuking us sharply if we ever go off course. There are, however, some oppositions to us receiving mercy and the truth, such as pride, lack of accountability, and choosing to hold on to hurt. Pride will stop one from receiving mercy and the truth because it makes their heart hard and callous. To receive truth, we must have a humble heart because God only gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. Proverbs 3 verse 34 God comes to us with mercy and truth to purge any hurt or iniquity that may be found in us. Proverbs 16 verse 6 says, By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. In this dispensation, as sons of God, God has made us vessels of mercy to pull out those who are trapped in sin. If we are born of the Spirit, mercy is therefore our nature. We who were forgiven much must also forgive those who owe us. We must not play the blame game, but allow God to heal us from whatever hurt we may be carrying. The light of the gospel can free us, and as truth comes, God will show us where we too may have been wrong in these situations. When God in his mercy shows us where we are wrong, we must repent. This message spoke volumes to me, and my greatest takeaways are the promises of God, that mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good, and that the merciful are blessed and shall obtain mercy. Proverbs 14 verse 22 and Matthew 5 verse 7. I was also reminded of my responsibility as a son of God to be a conduit of God's mercy and truth to all those that I encounter.